So today we're going to look at how to deploy or redeploy a web app. In this example, it's one tied to a Google Sheet. So to deploy a web app, click on the deploy button and then new deployment. And then you want to select web app right here. And then you can enter a description. And so this is basically your version tracking and that helps as those will line up here with those version numbers but it is optional and so you can leave it blank if you like and then you want to execute as me unless you have a specific use case where you need the user to access it maybe on a workspace domain and then who has access again if you're doing a typical web app you want this to be anyone and then once you're done then click deploy and then the first thing you'll have to do if you have not already is authorize access and then we're going to go through this flow real quick so click your email advanced go to web app and then we're going to allow this and once that's done this deployment should finish up and then this url is the one that you'll use as your web app whether it's a webhook or whatever it is so you can copy this and paste it into your webhook or you can use this URL as your web app URL. And then you can click done and then you're good to go. Now, if you make any changes on the code, it's not going to automatically reflect on your web app. So if you make changes in your code, after you've saved it here, you'll want to go back to manage deployments and make sure to do manage, not new, because a new deployment is gonna give you a new URL. And so unless you're trying to change your URL, you want to click manage deployment so you keep that URL the same. And then what you'll do is click on this pencil or pen icon that shows edit. And then here we're going to click on new version. And then again, you can add a description if you have specific changes or if you have a version name, you can do that here. And then you can just come down and click deploy. And now your newest code will be live at this URL right here. And so again, if you just did manage and new version, this will be the same URL. You won't have to change it. But if you did change that URL, this will be the one that you need there. All right, so that is it for today's video. Make sure to check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Google Sheets and AppScript. And as always, have a great day.